Well, as you guys know, in this day and age of environmental consciousness, I'm sorry to say that places like this are slowly or quickly disappearing. And uh, I'm very happy to be here whenever I can. Thanks, to, of course, to my friend named Simon there. What's this here? No, oh, fuck, that is from uh, Ford, I think. Look at all the parts here. You got a 60s, uh, 50s, 60s car, specifically a 60s, 70s, and you live in Quebec and need parts? You might want to consider coming here. Cotemal has fair prices. And the guy has just so much fucking stuff. It's incredible. A lifelong collection. That's a dash or something. Anyway, so in this segment of the tour, I wanted to not just show all these parts here and all these things, but um, really, because uh, a lot of you like me like buses and even school buses and old school buses, especially in this fucking part of the world, are like the only place you're going to see them this old is in a junkyard. If they haven't been uh, already crushed for their precious metal. And unfortunately, the only thing is with the guy who owns this place, who's a swell guy. You can't, um, you, you can't even go between the buses, actually. He's got them, like, lined up here uh, for decades, side by side. You cannot, you cannot fucking, uh, look at this, what's that, a duster? You cannot fucking get between them, really. But I'm going to try to get in front of them somewhere, because I was here in the summer, and it was hard to see them due to the lighting and, you know, the bright, the mix between the bright light and the shades of the leaves and all that. Because I don't know, I don't know what fucking make these things are. I really don't know. I think they're either carpenters or Wayne's, maybe. Yeah, and, uh, they're fucking cool though. I did film one of these, but for some reason it wasn't with this pack here. Yeah. And there's just truck, these trucks, these buses are just loaded and fucking loaded with parts. And it's funny because look, the. the all the padding and the fabric from the seats are gone, but the frames are still there, man. Just look at that. Just fucking loaded with parts. You know, here's an old fucking bluebird. This one, I know what it is, though. You know, stop on the signals. Flashing lights. Of course, that would say, in other places, would say, school bus. I wonder if I can actually see underneath this fucking thing. Not really, eh? Oh, it's fucking dark as a motherfucker. I like that white, white wall tire. I just feel like buying the fucking thing. Yeah, that's in French and English. Open. Emergency only. Yeah. Look how many of these fucking things he has. Look at this one's got furniture in it. Yeah. These buses are fucking old, man. I mean, I'm not an expert, but they these particular not the not the Bluebird that are there. That one's not as old, but these ones here, they're all the same model. They look like fucking '60s easily, but that's why I want to get to the front of them. But I think there's a fence there. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try at least get a glimpse anyway, for me and for you. You know, batteries in the red. Yeah. Fuck, I've only got an hour left until it's dark at 4.30. Oh yeah, by the way, you want to see a load of shit pile here? Hence the expression, one man's junk is another man's treasure. A little Valiant convertible there. Or dart. Look how many of them there are. Fuck, there's a lot of them. Look at that. A little treasure trove, so to speak, eh? You know, I need a little fucking plate here. Right. Hubcaps. Funny thing is, there's so much fucking junk in these buses. Oh, this one, the front is here. Look at that. It looks like a Ford. I can't even fucking tell. I think it's a Ford. I don't think it's a Dodge, eh? I can't fucking tell. There's too much shit. Too much junk. Too many trees. Fuck, I can't tell. I want to get in there. God damn it. I want to see. Fuck. How the fuck do I do that? Shit, I 
Can't get in there. Can't fucking get in there. How ironic, there's a modern school bus that just fucking passed over there. See? Just turned the corner. How ironic. Huh. Looks like he just turned around even. That's weird. Whew. Huh. All right, success, I fucking made it. Oh my god, looking at this brings back memories. The first fucking school bus I took looked just like that. That canted windshield, it was a, it was a, it was a school bus. It was a fucking Detroit Diesel. No, it wasn't. I'm telling you. No, it was a school bus though. And, and, and I think it was old, I don't know why, but he stopped and he turned around or something. And I was filming the school buses, how ironic. Did you film it? Well, I only saw the top of it, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right, I think it was. No, that was no sir, man. Dude, I still can't tell what this bus is here. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know. I, uh, fuck, is it a Chevy? Is it a Ford? I can't tell. I feel fucking stupid. There's not enough left on it either, e even to be able to tell. You know? And there's not even a fucking badge that tells me if this thing's a Wayne, a carpenter. I don't know. Any one of you guys are gonna fucking tell me, that's for sure. But this is the first school bus I took, it was exactly like this. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to see the other ones because, yeah, they're all up against the fence for fuck's sake. Shit. 